get right into this. Uh, Stacey Plaskett represents the U.S. Virgin Islands in the House of Representatives, and she recently proposed legislation tied to Medicare and Medicaid for U.S. territories. We're going to get into that in just a second, but right now we want to welcome in the Congresswoman Plaskett. Thank you for starting your day with us here on BNC and on Start Your Day. Uh, we'll get into the legislation in just a second, but I should start with the news of the, today, of course, yesterday, as you know, uh, and as expected, Democrats had their uh, the voting legislation block, the uh, For the People Act. In your view, what should be the path moving forward to get it done? Um, of course, ideally, the path to get it done would be for the Senate to remove its block utilizing the filibuster um, to mm -hmm. keep uh, democracy from moving forward, to keep votes from coming before the Senate floor. Remember, this was a procedural vote. Uh, it wasn't even a vote on the legislation. But G the GOP, the Republicans don't even want to have a debate in the Senate mm -hmm. about this legislation, about ethics. Uh, this is not just about voting rights, right? Uh, H.R. 1 was also about campaign finance reform, uh, getting dark money out of campaigns, about ethics laws, uh, and they are completely against even having those. So what we've decided uh, and what many Democrats believe is that we've got to let your constitu our constituency, you know, going on shows like your own, uh, to let the good people who watch uh, the Black News Network, Black News Channel, to understand mm -hmm. what is at stake, uh, and that to push them to have the Senate bring these this legislation forward. I do understand that the president has reached out and had conversation uh, with Joe Manchin, who was in favor of moving the debate forward uh, to try and mm -hmm. find compromise and a way forward uh, you know, to make a path in which we can have some legislation move forward. Because we understand that democracy is on the line. Um, 40, in so many states, over 40 states, uh, legislation is being proposed which would try and suppress voting rights uh, in this country. Uh, yeah, we got to get it done. Representative Plaskett, I know you have limited time, but I know you also want to talk about the legislation regarding Medicare and Medicaid in U.S. territories. Uh, what would you like to see happen? Well, you know, uh, the territories starting in the 1990s have had uh, many of our rights and equity and formulas chipped away um, in different administrations to the point where now uh, Virgin Islanders, Puerto Ricans do not receive the same uh, support for Medicaid. Uh, those are our most vulnerable citizens that the rest of, uh, of the United States has. So we are asking for equity in a treaty treatment um, and how much the federal government is paying as opposed to how much our local governments are paying. Um, for the last few years, uh, Congress and uh, the administration have allowed um, an equitable treatment of the territories in Medicaid. And in the Virgin Islands alone, that has meant that 20,000 more Virgin Islanders have been able to receive Medicaid, which means mm -hmm. that our hospitals uh, are getting compensated care. It means that that our hospitals uh, have additional funding. These are individuals who would have gone um, to the hospital to get primary care, and now they're getting mm -hmm. uh, preventative care because they're on Medicaid. In the case of Puerto Rico, yep. Rico not having that Medicaid has meant that they have borrowed money at the market to ensure that they can take care of their neediest um, citizens. So we're asking for treatment in this, along with our infrastructure uh, equity. And, you know, the President Biden has done a tremendous job in providing that equity for us in the uh, COVID relief package. And we're asking that this be extended throughout that time. Right.